Remember when the president promised us, promised us the government isn't spying on us? What I can say unequivocally is that if you are a U.S. person, the NSA cannot listen to your telephone calls, and the NSA cannot target your emails. And have not. And have not. They cannot and have not, by law and by rule, well, this week we're learning the NSA might have broken into Google and Yahoo data centers, gathering users' account information and maybe even emails. Joining me now, in the hot seat for reaction, Glenn Greenwald. He's a journalist who first broke the news on the NSA snooping scandal. Uh, welcome, Glenn. Um, President Obama guaranteed, guaranteed his NSA wasn't reading our emails. The Washington Post this week reported that the NSA had infiltrated Google and Yahoo data centers, enabling them to read, in fact, read those emails. So the question is, do you think President President Obama was misinformed or uninformed? No, I think neither. I think he was informed but chose to tell the public things that he knew to be false. This has really been the nub of the story from the very beginning is that top NSA officials lied to the Congress about what the NSA does with regard to Americans communication and President Obama has repeatedly misled the public by claiming that the NSA does not invade the content of our communications when in fact in all sorts of ways even without warrants the NSA is frequently monitoring the communication of American citizens. That is a major part of the scandal and piece article after article has proven that. And some of the things that uh, Ed Snowden reported, uh, f uh, let me just read right from the Washington Post. In the preceding 30 days, the report said, field collectors had processed and sent back 181 million new records, including metadata, which would indicate who sent or received emails, as well as content and text. Boy, I gotta tell you, these are, these are mind-boggling revelations. Let me just ask, you know, any journalist or, or viewer who, who's listening to this, whether or not when thinking about Mr. Snowden, they would prefer to have remained ignorant about all the things they've learned that their own government is doing to their privacy and their communications completely in the dark and with no accountability. Even if you're somebody who believes that you want to have a state that collects everybody's communications, which is a pretty daunting thing, but even if you're somebody who believes that, shouldn't we in a democracy know these things, know that our government is doing that? And the only reason we know is because Mr. Snowden risked his liberty to come forward and inform us all. Do you think there are, there's more to come? Are we going to learn more liberties that were, were violated or being violated on an ongoing basis? Definitely, Eric. I, you know, I've been asked this question for months and I always say the same thing and I think it's proven to be true over and over, which is that still, in my view, the majority of very significant and even remarkable stories are yet to be reported. The, the, the document base is so vast that it takes a long time to go through, but there are already several stories that I'm working on that I think are going to be quite shocking to the public when they learn about what the NSA is doing to their privacy and we're working on reporting those as quickly as we can. Well, you feel free to go ahead and break any of those right now, Glenn, if you want to. Uh, in the meantime, let's talk a little bit about another outrageous <laughs> overreach, crazy story we're reading. Not even sure if it's true or not, but we're here, we've heard through an Italian media agency that the NSA was actually spying on the Pope. Can you confirm that? Do you have any information on it? I can't say for certain whether that story is, is true, but what I can tell you is that the institutional mindset of the NSA, and I think this is the really disturbing part, is that they try and collect everybody's communication without limits. The motto of General Alexander is collect it all. So when they go before the public and say, We're, we need this spying system to protect us from terrorists, nobody disputes that terrorists or suspected terrorists should be targeted with surveillance. The problem is, is that it's completely false. They they want to eliminate privacy globally right. by literally making it impossible for human beings to communicate electronically with one another. That includes the chancellor of democratically elected allies like Germany and Brazil. Right. And it wouldn't surprise me at all if, if the Pope got swept up into this massive surveillance net. Terrorists and Popes, by the way, the NSA denies that. It's just kind of crazy. Um, very quickly, news broke this week that Ed Snowden took a job in Russia, some sort of web design. The thought crossed my mind, hey, why not bring him back here? Maybe he can help fix Obamacare website. <laughs> <laughs> He's certainly uh, very competent and, and well trained, certainly more so than the people who seem to be running that website. But I think the best part about any news like this is that the Obama administration wants to intimidate whistleblowers, to show them that their lives will be destroyed if they expose the wrongdoing of people in power. And so the more Edward Snowden can have a normalized and free life, uh, the more it will embolden future whistleblowers to come forward. And I think that's exactly what our political culture needs. Very good, Mr. Glenn Greenwald. Always great having you on. And again, if you ever want that platform, Forum cashing in is waiting, ready, 